Warning: Always wear proper personal protective equipment when operating Appian products. The first step to fast refrigerant recovery is using a recovery machine that can pump direct liquid refrigerant. Liquid recovery is much faster than vapor recovery alone. Next, use 3/8 inch recovery hoses to maximize your flow potential without surpassing EPA de minimis guidelines. When connecting your hoses to an AC system, first remove the valve cores from the system ports. Input restrictions like valve cores and core depressors can block up to 90% of all flow and should be removed before starting your recovery. After removing all input restrictions, connect the maximum number of hoses that the system allows without adding unnecessary connection points. Use a Y fitting rather than a T fitting when available to connect your hoses to the recovery machine. This will allow for merging flow paths, which avoid problems like turbulent flow and opposing flow paths, commonly associated with a T fitting. Now that your hoses are connected, there is one more output restriction that can slow down your recovery process and create unnecessary heat within the recovery cylinder. The liquid tube in a recovery cylinder can sometimes be as small as one eighth inch in diameter. This massively restricts flow and creates more heat in the cylinder because of the added friction. To avoid this, connect your recovery output hose to the vapor port, then flip the cylinder upside down, rotating it in a direction that tightens the hose fitting. This will allow the cylinder to fill from the bottom up without forcing refrigerant through the long, narrow liquid tube. Now that you're ready for full flow recovery, open up the G5 twin and let it do what it is engineered to do, fast, direct liquid recovery. For more in-depth recovery and evacuation tips and practices, visit Appian Tools on YouTube and follow us on all social media platforms.